<clears throat> Welcome back. This mini lecture is entitled Introduction to Charts. This one is by the great William Playfair. Um, first question, as always, what is a chart? Maybe think for a second what you think it might be. It is a graphical representation of data. And this data that is represented by a chart is usually represented by various symbols, be they bars, lines between data points, slices of a pie, etc., etc. Uh, why do we use charts? What are the, what's their purpose? What do they help us do? They help to ease our understanding of data through their visual look because they don't, they don't uh, deal with text as heavily they can be read very quickly in terms of different trend lines uh, they can be created in multiple forms so you can make them by hand you can make them with a computer etc and they display relationships between various data points so it helps to uh, illuminate those things very easily uh, there are four major common types of charts the one is the first one is the histogram this is where various rectangles are proportional to the frequency of a particular variable or variables that you're measuring. There's also our friend the bar chart. Bar charts are bars proportional to the values they represent. The longer, the more of the underlying substance that's being uh, uh, visualized. A pie chart. This is where the circle of the pie is 100% and various slices represent a percentage value of that overall pie. And finally, a line chart. That's a 2D two-dimensional scatter plot of ordered observations. Uh, charts usually involve the, the, the various uh, underlying features listed below. A title that's usually above the main graph, and it helps to provide a succinct description of what's in the uh, graph itself, the chart itself. The axes, usually X and Y axis. Uh, helps to describe the dimensions of data that are being measured. Scale, that it helps to convert the chart to real world measures so that it actually represents something real in the world. Uh, labels, those are usually along the axes and they help to describe the dimensions measured through the axes. And there's oftentimes a legend at the bottom that or it lists very, uh, various variables in the chart. Uh, so that was an introduction to charts. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.